I said I'd be back. Uh-huh. Um, and I am. Um, another one. <laughs> um, this deck I bought off of eBay. Um, just like the one that I mentioned in my video earlier, it was one of the decks that I brought when I didn't realise that I'd have so many decks come my way, which I'm thankful for. Uh, now this, this deck caught my attention for several reasons. Two reasons. It was different. Um, in the sense that the people depicted were different and also it has black borders and I seem to have a thing for black borders um, I absolutely love them um, my Glastonbury has black borders um, Tower of the Side that has black borders uh, yes there's tons of videos about this, that on YouTube and I'm adding mine in in just a moment um, my Anna Kay has black borders my Osho Zen um, black borders are my thing so, um, oh, before I show you any of the uh, cards, I will state that this is <clears throat> this is a Llewellyn published deck from 2001. It is copyrighted, The World of Spirit Tarot. It is illustrated by Lauren O'Leary, and the text is by Jessica Godino and also by Lauren O'Leary. Just to be on the safe side, this deck does not belong to me. I did not make this deck. I am showing you the images in the hope that you might want to buy the deck. Just in case, just in case. You never know. So, as I said, it is the World Spirit Tarot. Not my really little book. So, it didn't come with a, a box or anything, but it came well wrapped. And it's been well loved um, as well by the lady on eBay. This is the back. Love. Um, and I actually really love these cards. I mean, I got so, like I said, I got quite a few decks and, you know, they're all special in their own way. But why is it the deck I bought myself? I'm like, oh, I love this one. I'm going to have to work with this one. It's just rude. It's got to wait its turn, but it's not going to. So I'm just going to shift this a bit, guys. Sorry. Got me a new laptop. Ooh, back in my zone. My, my, my area. So I'm going to show you the cards. They're not in any order, so let's just dive right in. Um, this is Death, which I loved instantly. But there could, I don't think there could be any um, worry if you read with clients with this deck, what that symbolises, in my opinion. I don't mind this whole thing is my opinion. Seer of Swords. Look at that seer, just balancing that sword right there. Five of Swords. Actually, I don't even think I need to actually say what they are. If I don't cover the words, you can see them yourself. I do have a couple of cards I've got a couple of issues with, so I will keep them out. And that's, again, my opinion. Sorry, I've been away from the game for so long, I'm just making sure all bases are covered. Uh, this card I love. I love the guy in this. Freaking dude. Reminds me of Craig from Pepper Ann. The glasses. Back on. She says saying the name. Uh, I love the colours. Um, I absolutely do. Um, I'm pretty sure. They, uh, da, 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 da. Hang on. Here we go. Each card is hand coloured. Aluminum block print to create the final piece of art. Many steps are involved. Uh, Lauren sketches her ideas onto a block, then with a ray of chisels, spreads forward, she begins to carve. So a lot of effort has gone into this deck, and I'm not saying that a lot of effort hasn't gone into other decks. I'm just saying a lot of effort has gone into this deck. Um, look, I really do like that. And the way some of our, because I, I do feel um, some of the cards, maybe not all of the cards, but some of them are uh, Rider Waite Smith based. Um, but the facial expressions or like just the placing of certain things just brings up whole new meanings for me. Um, I guess that's the point, but I love that. The Hierophant, I can't help it. He wants to dance. <laughs> no, be the no. 
either. I'm sorry, sorry. Oh, my little baby on top. Sage of Cups, he's one freaking cool dude. The Fool, I absolutely love because for some reason she just reminds me of me. It's just like, oh, look at the birds, look at the... F I was going to say fairies. Look at the fairies, look at the butterflies, and then, like, stepping off into traffic or something. So me. This card I, <laughs> I think is just hilarious and brilliant. Look at that guy's face. Not mine. Get away from mine. It's, 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 it's wonderful. I just love it. The tower as well. Oh, I love this. Look at the depth on that card. It's just freaking amazing. I know what you're thinking. You didn't have this kind of pizzazz in your last video. Well, you know, it was more of a historical deck. It's more stoic. Whereas this is just screaming, Ooh, fabulous. Although this chariot, I'm... I'm not entirely sure how far he's going to get, because he's chilled. He's like, well, we'll get there when we get there, guys. And they're like, yeah, but we're on land and, you know, we kind of got half fishtails. He's like, meh, we'll get there. Love it. Got some dolphins. She's cool. I love how blue she is. Oh, give me Anubis and I love it. That's my eye, yes. Not really, because that freaked me out. Uh, but yeah, I was just um, browsing eBay um, when I came across this, and I was just like, I texted uh, Andrea, and she, I was like, oh my god. I was like, what do you think of the, <laughs> the World Spirit Tarot? And she replied, and she said to me, she said, oh, you've seen it on eBay too. And I replied saying, seen it? <laughs> I was like, I freaking bought it. <laughs> and the lady was selling it for £12. Um, free delivery, so why not? Uh, nude. I don't think that was a bad price. Um, I think it can go from where well, it is more expensive on Amazon. Um, but I do believe, um, the lady has released the second edition. And I know, no, she has released a second edition because El Bohemian Moon. I watched your video yesterday. My mind's reset since then. So yes, I know that she's released it. Universe is epic. I absolutely love the fact that her pants are made out of stars. Uh, no. We need to talk about that. But for me, it's, I don't know, it's just the colours, the black borders, the difference, but still with the, sim, you know, the feel that I'm used to. Um, sorry, I don't want to be too far away. I'm just loving it. This one I like as well. It just, yeah, why not? I don't see enough people with glasses represented in tarot. Freaking... Give them glasses. But, um, as you can tell, you know, this deck is a little bit more diverse than your usual. No, I'm pretty up to, up together on my uh, Egyptian history. I love uh, Egyptian history. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm a spirit from Egypt. At some point I was. Um... But I don't recall what this is. Don't, can, tell me. Um, I could Google it, but let's let's connect. Let's communicate. Hmm? Don't remember that story. Six covers. Hmm. We are almost there, people. Uh, do apologise if I'm boring you, but I think it's a good idea. Especially considering, like I said, the first edition is kind of expensive on um, Amazon, that you have a look at all the cards, really, to make sure you know what you're getting. Tell 
Ten of Wands is just so cool. Well, not for the guy, obviously. It's not it's not panning out too well for that. Him. Uh, the moon. Stunning. Uh, four of Wands, I think I prefer this, uh, uh, this depiction rather than the general right away. The hermit. Yeah. Sick. Uh, this one is awesome. Mm, two of swords. Look at him. Yeah. He's just in control. I like that. And I love the little bunny rabbit that sat watching him as well. I think that's just precious. Oh dear. Me back. Right, let's speed these up because I don't want to keep you waiting all night. I love that. you know, conjures up an idea. Does the person inside know that there's a someone outside? Oh, hell yeah. Z lovers. I'm not keen on the lovers card in a deck but, um, anyway, um, but I do like that one. Ah. I'm pretty sure my birth card still was. Temperance has got to be the best freaking temperance card ever. Look at that. Disco, disco. Freaking get down with your best self. Bad self. Or best self. Oh, I don't have a problem with that card, but I do want to make a quick mention of it. I love that. I love the approach. All that over there is mine. <laughs> All mine. I'm very, very excited about that deck. And I'm actually um, going to meet some tarot people tomorrow. Um, people that I've met off the internet. So um, I'm going to go to the pub have a drink and talk cards. And I may take this deck with me. Osho's definitely coming with me because, you know, Osho's just like, other than a few cards, loves me Osho. And probably another deck or another two decks. So go with three. I'm gonna offload some of my decks onto them as well if they want them. Um, okay. Okay, so this this one I don't actually have an issue with. It was just, it, it prompted something in me. Um, there is, full-on nudity on both parts, so bear with. So it's the devil, and I was looking at it first, and I was like, why is that woman's legs, why is she, like, white? And, you know, the more I looked at it, the more I was like, actually, you know, this is kind of cool. Um, it's, they're struggling. Shoot. Oh, fuck it. Sorry. Um, they are struggling to get out of that. Um, so they've clearly come to a realisation that what, you know, everything that was is not healthy. And they're struggling. And if you're trying to struggle to get out of somewhere, do you give a damn if all your bits are on display? No. You're vulnerable as it is, so you might as well just go. I mean, maybe that's kind of like what everyone, the opinion that everyone came to before I even arrived. But I really liked it. Okay, here, here are my three problem cards. One of them's not so much a problem. Um, it's this one. Um, I do believe I read in the book that they go, this goes for the, the, the maiden, the mother and the crone aspect. Um, absolutely fine. I ain't got, a, I ain't got a problem with three women hanging out, just chilling, topless, legs half open, whatever. You know, what you do with your girlfriends is up to you. I just don't think the lady in the middle looks like a lady. Um, not that ladies look like ladies. Do you know what I mean? I just I, I just feel that the drawing makes this lady feel a little bit more masculine. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. I'm not saying that. It's just, you know, the idea is that these three are hanging out and they're enjoying a glass of lemonade. But when I look at that, I don't see three women hanging out having a glass of lemonade. I see a very touchy-feely session. And if you want to do that with your girlfriends, that's absolutely fine. I've got no problem with that. But it just... It's making me... 
rethink my perspective. So that's good. Okay, these two cards I have a problem with. You wouldn't be surprised. I have a problem with this. I struggle so much with card with the sun. Why? I like. I love the idea of a sun card. I'm getting angry now because I'm fed up of seeing this. <sighs> Whatever. Um, but that side, you know, this one's just like really. So we've got the sage there who's like chilling, he's meditating, he's just got kids happy and frolicking, everything's good. That sage is naked from the waist down. Okay, that's that's your bag, absolutely. I just don't like the idea that he's nude in front of children. I mean, he's clearly not flashing them or anything. And again, that's clearly my per per perception of the situation and my mind that's telling me that that is wrong. Um... But I suppose in a lot of cultures it isn't wrong. You know, it's just a todger. There it is. It's not used for anything other than re reproduction. It's just a todger. You know, so fair, you know, fair, fair shout. But I suppose growing up in the society we do, the idea of a man just sitting there with his todger out and kids just playing nearby is not allowed. It's not right. So, again, something for me to perhaps meditate on and try and change my perspective on. But I'm not going to let two cards out of a whole amazing deck um, stop me from using it. I say that. Um, the um, ancient Egyptian deck that I've got, I haven't used. I have not touched that since I showed you the video because I cannot, cannot get over the sun card um, in that, unfortunately. And I don't want to take it out because then, you know, I might as well use my medieval Scarpini deck, which is missing the four aces. Um, so there we go. And that was a bit of a long rabbit, so I'm going to go. Um, I'll be back. Thanks for watching.